Let's say you've owned your rental property for a long time and maybe some things have changed in the market or in your life and you're trying to figure out what to do with your property. When's the right time to sell your rental property? That's what we're talking about today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sue Ritchie. I'm the owner of a residential property management company and an investor myself. So as we know, owning rental property can definitely be really rewarding and very lucrative, but sometimes selling it can be the right course of action, depending on what's going on in your life and also what's going on in the market. So we've helped many landlords make that decision about when to sell their property based on a lot of different factors. So I wanted to talk to you today about three things that you want to think about as you're maybe trying to evaluate what to do with your property and whether it's the right time to sell or not. Number one, you want to think about whether you have positive or declining cash flow. We all buy rental property with the hopes that we're going to have positive cash flow and we're going to continue to make money while your tenant is paying, essentially paying the mortgage for you, right? But sometimes things change and your cash flow starts to go down, down, down. This could be anything like lots of repair and maintenance costs. If you have an older home and you are constantly updating appliances, spending a a chunk of money on your HVAC system replacement, the roof, outside, inside repair and maintenance, it's just the cost go up and up and up, your cash flow continues to go down, that's a sign that this might not be the right property to continue to hang on to. Also, property taxes may be going up in your area. That's going to definitely affect your profitability. And also, maybe your vacancy has increased or the demand for your area and your particular home has declined. And so you're seeing more vacancy and also you're you're seeing rental rates either stay steady or even decline. That's another sign that this might not be the right property to hold on to anymore. You may be able to sell that property. You might take advantage of using a 1031 tax deferred exchange as a good tool to take this property, sell it, use that tool, put that money into a new property, and then be on your way to better profitability down the road. Okay, the second thing to think about is market appreciation. Now, in the past several years, we have definitely seen property values increase a lot across the country. We're in Northern Virginia. We have seen the prices just continue to go up and up and up. And as a result, we've helped many of our landlords sell their properties because why not? They wanted to take advantage of the peak of the market. They didn't need to hang on to it. They knew they might sell in a few years. And so we spoke with them, gave them you know, an analysis on what their sale value would be. And for them, it definitely made sense to take advantage of this market. So one of the things I would tell you is if you're thinking about this in the next several years, maybe get the help of a property manager or realtors like us and keep up to date with what is your property's value. So as you see it go up and up, you can try and time it so that you can really take advantage of the peak of the market and maximize the cash you get out of your property. And the third thing to think about is really changing goals and your life circumstances. Life is never the same, right? Our our goals, our circumstances are constantly changing. And so that may impact when you need to sell your property or not. So let's say you're nearing retirement and maybe you just want to simplify your life and you don't want the headaches of managing a rental property anymore or the stress that comes with it. So this might be an indicator that it's time to sell that property and either hold on to the cash or put it in some other kind of investment. On the other hand, you might decide that you want to keep that property and maybe you hire a property manager like us to take a lot of that day-to-day responsibility off your plate, but you can still realize the cash flow and asset appreciation for the long term. So that's another option. And in that case, maybe you don't sell it and you hang on to it. But the, but the point is that your life will dictate what you need to do and when it's right to sell your property. So that's only something you can decide. And obviously it's a very personal decision. So the bottom line is there's never a right or a wrong time to sell your property. It's a very personal thing and you have to decide when it's right for you. But definitely if you are going to sell and you do want to continue to invest in real estate, it would be really smart to look at doing a 1031 exchange and learning about that so that you can take advantage of deferring the tax and getting a property that will work better for you than perhaps the one you are selling. 
So if you're in Northern Virginia and you want any advice on what's going on in the rental market, the sale market, if there's anything we can help you with, we're happy to do so. All our information is in the notes below. And if not, if you have general questions, I'm happy to answer anything that I can to help you with figuring out what to do with your property. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.